In this bowl, I have about four pounds of chicken. I have a mixture of chicken breast and some chicken legs. And you guys already know I can't fit everything in this bowl, but I will be doing a total of four chicken legs. So go ahead and add your ground cumin, chili powder, paprika, onion powder. Ooh, that wanted to stay. Who didn't want this onion powder to come through? I love onion powder. Was that you? That was not me. I'm currently obsessed with onion powder the same way that I'm obsessed with chicken bouillon, so watch out, you guys. <laughs> Some black pepper and a little bit of salt. Now it's time to combine our ingredients. Make sure that all your chicken is nice and coated. The wonderful part of this seasoning is that you can season it uh, the day before. Make sure that you have a nice and safe container but you just wanna make sure that it's all properly coated, okay? And since we want this chicken to be nice and juicy, we don't wanna salt it too much. And I do this often, I always pick the smaller bowl, so we're gonna to have to shake it up in the big bowl. And this uh, bowl definitely helps shake things up. The other thing that I wanted to say to you guys, if you're gonna be seasoning your chicken, just toss your seasonings in the bowl because if you itemize it kinda of like I did for this particular recipe, you're gonna end up losing seasoning. And I just did that to impress you guys, just so you know. So just put it in a bowl, shake it up, and set it to the side. You wanna let your seasonings coat the chicken for a good 10 to 15 minutes, but if you guys do it overnight, it's probably for best flavor. Place your burner on a medium heat. We want our pan to get nice and hot. Drizzle some olive oil in your pan, enough to coat the bottom. Add your butter. Make sure to combine your butter well into the olive oil to prevent burning. Once your butter has melted, go ahead and add your chicken and make sure that you're placing it skin side down. We're gonna continue to cook our chicken on a medium heat for six minutes. If you see that something's way too hot, make sure to gauge your temperature and lower it just a little bit. At this moment, you do not wanna move your chicken. We wanna get a really good sear on the skin side of the chicken. After about three minutes, you wanna start flipping your chicken to make sure that we sear all of the sides. And searing your chicken on a medium heat should only take you six minutes. It's so hot, cast iron pan. Now, if you're using a different kind of pan, it might take you a little bit longer. So work with what you have and make it comfortable for your home. After about six to eight minutes, you will see that your chicken is nice and seared. And some pieces might require a little bit more time than others. So you can just kind of flip it, eyeball it. Add your remaining butter. Next, you wanna add your yellow onion, your chopped Anaheim, and your chopped tomato. Next, I'm gonna add my garlic, and all I did was just smash them a little bit with my knife on the cutting board. Combine all your ingredients and continue to cook on a medium to medium low heat for four to six minutes until everything gets nice and soft. Next, you wanna add your all-purpose flour. Combine that well. Should take you about 20 seconds to cook your flour into this buttery, delicious seasoned oil. And next, you wanna add your tomato sauce. And allow that tomato sauce to cook for a good 30 to 40 seconds. And we are still on a medium heat. You smell that? It smells so good. It smells different. Once your tomato sauce cooks, it just, it just gives you another layer of flavor. After about 45 seconds, you wanna add your chicken broth. And what I did is I used a cup of warm water and add, added one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. That's a little brighter, is that the natural one? That one is the natural one, yes. While you're mixing, you wanna add your half and half. Now, for those of you that want it extra creamy, use half a cup of half and half and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Combine all your ingredients with all the love that you want your family and loved ones to feel while you're gonna feed them this delicious creamy chicken. I just have one song that comes to mind when you say that. What? Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, you're gonna feel the love. <laughs> I even left the garlics nice and whole for you because I know you're the garlic lover I know in you this did. family. I appreciate you. 
I love garlic. So combine all your ingredients and continue to cook for about two minutes, okay? My burner is currently on a medium low heat because I don't want this to splash everywhere on you guys, but I also want this to start cooking gently. We're letting our, our flavors know, hey, we're gonna slow it down. This is a slow dance. We wanna brighten up the flavors in the chicken. We don't want this to be fully blasted because this is a dish that you make for those that you love. After two minutes, you wanna add your Mexican oregano. And what I love about using Mexican oregano in this dish is that a lot of these type of dishes use a uh, white cooking wine, some little vinegary, tart, acidic flavor, and the acidity you get from the Mexican oregano is just perfect. Oh, okay, that's a good one to know. And you know what we have here? A bay leaf, so go ahead and add your bay leaf. Turn off your burner. Give that a good mix. I mean, you can even just pour this over some rice and be ready. We're over some potatoes. I've been over potatoes lately. Oh, you want some potatoes. Okay, she should have never said that I got something for you guys. I mean, I'm not over them. I mean, putting things over them. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, okay. So before we uh, do anything else, I want you to taste your broth, okay? That hot spoon for me. That hot spoon is for you. Hot metal spoon, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. It doesn't need anything. Ooh, la perfecta. <laughs> and this is where you want to taste the levels of salt in your dish. So if you're going to be adding a little bit more salt, go ahead and add your salt or your chicken bouillon. Mix your ingredients and cook it for a minimum of two minutes on a low heat and then taste the salt content of it. Now it's time to place our pieces of chicken into our pot. You want to place your pieces of chicken skin side up. So give that a quick little bath with our sauce. I'm thinking I would want papas in here. At this point, you can add your potatoes because we are gonna be placing this dish in the oven for one hour at 380 degrees, and that's enough time for you to have your chopped potatoes and for them to fully cook. Yeah. For those of you that don't have that much time, make sure to look in the description area because I'm gonna be sharing two bake times that are gonna help you get a fully cooked uh, chicken. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the uh, silicone handle and I'm gonna place this right in the oven. The pan, not the silicone sleeve. No, you don't wanna put this anywhere near the oven or heat or anything, just the cast iron pan. And place it right in the center rack. And boom, done, amigos. Our chicken is nice and ready. I kept it in there for an hour and what you can do is you can just lightly and gently just pour the sauce over. And the final touch is gonna to be a little bit of cilantro. It's not just for garnish, it's also for flavor. And this is just perfect for the weather that we're having today. We have some gentle rain, if you guys can hear it. There's nothing more perfect than pouring some of this delicious sauce over your chicken and mashed potatoes on this rainy day. Don't be shy with that sauce. We have enough for everybody. Who's ready for an amazing bite? I know you're gonna want mashed potatoes with it. It's coming. Say ah. Oh yeah. This is amazing. Wow, that's impressive. Somebody's gonna get proposed to with this chicken. What? And you're it's gonna, not you. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not me, you guys. But you're gonna impress your in-laws, you're gonna impress your family, you're gonna impress your kids, your friends, anybody you make this dish for, they're gonna be like, wow, you made that? And you're gonna say, yes, I made it just for you. And sometimes if you just wanna spoil yourself, I guess you can make it for yourself. And this is what I do, it's self-love. I cook delicious food and I enjoy it. Right after. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 